welcome back to Real Talk with Budget Sound. Uh, if you're new to our videos, what we're doing here is teaching you how to run sound maybe for your band or others and uh, actually be able to con uh, actually control the sound and uh, make it work to your benefit. Uh, the last video was on uh, setting up your gate and uh, learning about what a gate does and what it is and uh, how it works. Today is going to be on controlling your gate on, um, in other words, how fast, just like the gate that's in a fence, uh, how fast uh, your gate closes, how hard it is to open it, uh, the, the whole nine yards on how to control your gate. All right, the mic that I'm talking to you on is, of course, the one doing the video. It's already been gated and, and set up the way that it it needs to be set up. So I'm actually going to use the microphone right here, which is a separate mic that is about four inches away from the mic I'm speaking through now and uh, let you actually uh, hear what it does uh, as I do it. I've watched a lot of, uh, you know, how to run sound videos on YouTube and and Facebook and things, and, uh, you know, you really couldn't hear, or at least I couldn't, couldn't hear how these things worked, and, uh, you know, I'm thinking if I speak into the mic that I'm I'm showing you on as I'm working, you can actually hear what it works, okay? So what we did on the last video, I'm going to click this channel. I have this channel muted right now just so you can't hear anything. This green light that you see right here, this line, is actually the mic that I'm speaking in now uh, that the other microphone is picking up. But as you can see, the gate is closed. And so therefore, if this channel is unmuted, you wouldn't hear anything coming out that channel. And uh, that's important uh, uh, when you're doing things, you know, because you want to let your gate control, uh, not let any wind through or any stage noise or anything like that. Well, what we're going to talk about today is how to control your gate and that's this section right here that's that's this gain envelope you have an attack a hold and a release all right this attack is how quick you want your gate to open or how slow you want the gate to open and this hold is how long you want your gate to remain open and then this release is how fast you want your gate to close. And uh, I know there's a lot of, you know, type deck of defenses out there that on the hinges, they actually have uh, uh, springs on the hinges. So when you let go of the gate, it's going to automatically close. Well, depending on how tight the, the spring is, is how quick the gate's going to close. So this is like your spring that's on your gate. And like I say, this is real talk. We're talking in plain English with you know, real world examples that we've all dealt with before, because that's really what sound is. And uh, so today we're going to learn how to control that gate. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is how easy it is to open the gate. So I'm going to come unmute this channel. And uh, this is the channel we're actually working on, and I'm going to talk in this mic. Check, check, check check as you can see that gate opens pretty easy because it's that one millisecond okay there's a a thousand milliseconds in one second so one millisecond is as close to instant as you can so any pressure that i apply on this gate it's opening all the way you does that make sense okay so that's a little too quick because if uh Somebody comes up and talks right beside me or whatever, you know, it might open that quick. So I'm going to adjust this out a little bit and let you hear what it does. Check, 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 check. Okay, I increased it the whole way. So this means that the opening on our gate is a little quicker. We're at 120 milliseconds. Now, I know that's still quick with there being 1,000 milliseconds in one second. That's still quick. But this actually starts forming the vocal into what you're used to hearing. So let me let, me let you hear it again. Talking in another mic. Check. 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 All right. If you listen to that, that's actually taking off part of the word check like maybe the 
does C-H, uh, when you spell out the word check, it's C-H-E-C-K, and that may be taking a little bit of the C-H off. So I'm going to pull that back down a little bit. Here we go. Check, 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 check. See, now that's, that's getting the whole word, and that's what we want to do. Okay. So this hold, we use that. That means how long the gate's going to remain open after the word is said. So let's adjust it and see what happens. Check, 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 check. See, now it's closing almost instantly. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's 0 0.0. It's two one hundredths of a second. That, that's uh, or actually two one hundredths milliseconds. And so that, that's uh, pretty quick. So you just don't want it to close so fast that the word or the, the lyrical sentence that the singer is singing don't get out. So that's probably closing a little too much. Let me move it back up just a little bit. Check, 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 check. And see, I'm clearly getting at the, when I'm saying the word check, at the end of it, I'm going, and I'm trying to get that to come out clearly, and it does right there. Check, check. Okay, and that's pretty much what you want. All right, now this release, this is pretty much in real talk how fast the gate is going to slam shut once the word is said or once the microphone is, is not being used. So uh, you can really hear this, and, and uh, you can also, you're going to be able to tell by this red line, this meter here, how quick this thing slow uh, shuts. I'm going to speak in it as it is now, and you'll see it slowly come down. Watch this. Check. And you see it slowly coming down, cutting everything out. All right. If I come over here to this release and I start on the bottom edge, look how fast it comes back. Watch this. Check. 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 You see it pretty much instantly shuts. I mean, it shuts within five milliseconds. And that, that's pretty quick. So, uh... You don't want to have it set this low because you may actually cut out some of the words at the end of like the sentence that the singer may be singing. So we want to bring that up to where it don't look because that's like the gate is like slamming shut, you know. So let's uh, adjust that out to where it don't shut so quick. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Okay, that's shutting pretty good right there. You know, it's nice and easy, and it's a, it's a slow come down. All right, now I'm going to go to that mic, and I'm going to say more than one word. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to sing for you because I don't sing, but I'm going to show you how uh, this thing should pick up every word of the sentence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, it, it got every syllable of the words I said. And, of course, everything I said was numbers, so therefore it was one syllable. I'm going to do it again with multiple syllables so you can clearly hear the, the each syllable independently as well together. Because if, if a singer is singing and the, the syllables of the words work together good and you don't have it gated too much, it, it leaves you a lot of uh, room to mix and, and make things and get you know, make things sound good and have good clarity. So I'm going to say a word, or, or a sentence actually, and let you hear it uh, in multiple syllables. Encyclopedias. Google Translate. Miracle. Joyful. And I said uh, multiple syllable words there, and you could clearly hear all that 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 you have going on okay 
So now we're going to move over. Uh, well, I think this is a pretty good setup. And now, once again, all this stuff can be adjusted as the mix is going on. These are base parameters of what you want when a band is ready to come up, plug in their instruments, and start the show. So uh, this is kind of where you want to be to start off in my experience. All right, now when we move over here for the side chain filter, what that that is more for the expanders like the two to one ratio the three to one ratio the four to one ratio and, and really what that is to put it in real talk that's like noise removal so if you if you had uh you know a singer coming in and say you had a you know a show and there's just a lot of noise uh on the stage you know or or maybe around the stage or behind it or whatever uh, hopefully you never get into that but you use that expander just to remove the noise. And uh, so you really wouldn't, in real talk, you wouldn't use a side chain filter on a gate. And uh, so anyway, if you're set up like this, it gives you a good base parameter that you can come around and you can uh, actually be able to control what comes through the mic. And, and really, in any instance, all you want to come through the mic, coming to you for the you know front of house mix, is the speaker's voice or the singles vo singer's vocal or whatever like that. All right, once again, if I've left anything out, you're uh, welcome to leave a comment at the bottom. If you like this video, click the like and uh, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. And y'all have a good day. Thank you.